Hi, and welcome to Bolt UIX. Here, we make app development easy and exciting. Write less code and keep it simple. Enjoy a reactive UI that updates automatically. Develop fast with live previews and powerful tools. Build apps with amazing features like material design, dark mode, and animations. Apps built with Compose are now more stable than ever. Start your next innovative project with Compose, it's fast, powerful, and beautiful. We're here to help you build amazing products. Let's talk about Compose layout types. Build your app layouts easily with Column and row for simple stacking Box for overlays Lazy column and lazy row for scrolling lists Constraint layout for complex designs Scaffold for structured screens and grid layout for organized grids. Jetpack Compose Column Purpose, it arranges elements vertically, one below the other. Common use, perfect for stacking items in a list-like format, like menus or forms. To control item positions in a column, use. Vertical arrangement for spacing items vertically. Horizontal alignment for aligning them horizontally. Jetpack Compose makes layout design simple and efficient. Jetpack Compose Row Purpose, it arranges elements horizontally, side by side. Common use, ideal for placing items in a line, like buttons, icons, or navigation bars. To control item positions in a row, use. Horizontal arrangement for spacing items horizontally. Vertical alignment for aligning them vertically. With Jetpack Compose, building responsive layouts is easier than ever. Jetpack Compose Box Purpose, a versatile layout for stacking elements on top of each other. Use case, perfect for overlapping views or placing items in specific positions, like creating layered designs or custom overlays. With Jetpack Compose Box, you can unlock creative and dynamic layouts effortlessly. Jetpack Compose Lazy Column Purpose, a powerful layout for displaying a vertical, scrollable list. Use case, ideal for efficiently handling large data sets, like infinite scrolling or long lists. With Jetpack Compose Lazy Column, building smooth and dynamic lists has never been easier. Jetpack Compose Lazy Row Purpose, a layout designed to display a horizontal, scrollable list. Use case, perfect for showcasing items like image carousels, horizontal lists, or categories. With Jetpack Compose Lazy Row, Creating smooth, scrollable rows is a breeze. Jetpack Compose Constraint Layout Purpose, a flexible layout for creating complex UI designs by defining constraints between elements. Use case, perfect for arranging items in precise positions, like aligning, anchoring, or creating responsive layouts. With Jetpack Compose Constraint Layout, you can craft advanced layouts with ease and full control. Jetpack Compose Scaffold Purpose, a powerful layout structure for building standard app screens. Use case, perfect for creating screens with a top bar, bottom navigation, floating action button, or drawers. With Jetpack Compose Scaffold, designing consistent and organized layouts is simple and efficient. Jetpack Compose Grid Layout Purpose, a layout for displaying items in a grid format, like rows and columns. Use case, perfect for creating photo galleries, product grids, or dashboards. With Jetpack Compose Grid Layout, organizing content beautifully is quick and easy. Check out the Compose Bolchewix app template, Jetpack Compose 2025 UI Kit. Available now on the Play Store as an in-app purchase or on Code Canyon. Build faster, design smarter, and create stunning apps effortlessly. Get yours today. Let's start with understanding the column. A column in Jetpack Compose arranges its children vertically, one below the other. It's like stacking blocks, perfect for menus, lists, or any vertical arrangement. Now, look at the modifier. 
we've added fill max size to make the column take up the whole screen. Then, padding, 16.dp, add space around the edges, keeping everything neat. Finally, let's center everything. Vertical arrangement equals arrangement center places the items in the middle vertically. And horizontal alignment equals alignment dot center horizontally ensures they're aligned in the center horizontally. Let's start with understanding the row. A row in Jetpack Compose arranges its children horizontally, side by side. It's like lining up items in a row, perfect for toolbars, navigation menus, or any horizontal arrangement. Now, look at the modifier. We've added fill max width to make the row take up the entire width of the screen. Then, padding 16.dp, add some space around the row, making it look clean and well spaced. Finally, let's space and align the items. Horizontal arrangement equals arrangement. Dot space evenly spreads the items evenly across the row, creating equal spacing between them. And vertical alignment equals alignment. Center vertically ensures that all items are aligned at the vertical center of the row. Let's start with understanding the box. A box in Jetpack Compose is like a container that stacks its children on top of each other. It's perfect when you want to overlay elements, like text on an image or a badge on an icon. Now, look at the modifier. We've added fill max size to make the box fill the entire screen. Then, padding, 16.dp, add some space around the edges, keeping everything neat and organized. Finally, let's align the content. Content alignment equals alignment, center ensures all the child elements are centered within the box. You can change this alignment to position your content exactly where you want it. Let's see real-time code example. Lazy column with scaffold. Lazy column is great for scrollable lists. It only loads what you see, keeping your app fast. Here, we use a scaffold with a top bar and a floating button, while Lazy Column shows a list of items as cards. It's perfect for large lists. Column with subdescriptions. Column is best for smaller, static lists. In this example, each item has an image, title, and description. We use a row inside each card to arrange the image and text. This layout works well for profiles or features. Remember, use lazy column for big lists and column for small ones. If this helped, like and subscribe. See you in the next video.